Hi guys. In this lecture, let us discuss about Costas receiver uh, that is mainly used to demodulate de for the demodulation of DSP SC signal, double sideband suppressed carrier signal. The basic principle of operation of Costas receiver is that Costas receiver is that the two detectors together form a negative feedback system. It consists of two detectors here. Here we can see uh, this is the I channel and this is the Q channel. So it consists of two coherent detectors. So together they form a negative feedback to the system acting in a way to maintain local oscillator synchronous with the incoming carrier wave. So in this let us consider two uh, situations. First one is phase synchrony, synchrony between incoming carrier and local oscillator carrier. So first case is the phase synchrony phase is synchronous with the incoming carrier as well as the local oscillator carrier. Incoming carrier is here AC cos 2 pi FCT and local oscillator uh, carrier is cos 2 pi FCT plus 5. This is equal to so if we have the synchronism then we will get uh, 5 will be equal to 0. The uh, I channel output contains demodulated signal M of T and Q channel output will be 0 due to the quadrature null effect. So this, uh, this is the basic. In the first condition, if we consider this local oscillator carrier as well as this local oscillator carrier as well as incoming signal is synchronous, then phi if the phi is 0, uh, then what happens is only the I channel signal will be, the uh, output contains demodulated signal M of T in the I channel and there will not be any signal in the Q channel due to the quadrature null effect. We will look into detail in later. The case, second case, that is loss of phase synchrony between incoming carrier and local carrier. So if there is no synchronism between the incoming carrier as well as local carrier, this is equal to phi not equal to zero condition. That is I channel output remains unchanged. In this case, we will get some of the output at the Q channel also. There will be some signal at Q channel and the amplitude of the signal will be proportional to sin phi. The amplitude of the signal will be proportional to sin phi in case of Q channel. So this shows the block diagram for the Costas receiver. It consists here DSP signal, DSPC signal is provided to two different product modulator. Product modulator along with the low pass filter and the local oscillator form a coherent detector. So it has two coherent detectors. Uh, for one, the carrier is applied directly. For another product modulator, it is applied with the 90 degree phase shift. So if this is the cost, then with 90 degree phase shift means it will be sine 2 pi FCT plus pi. Now, this channel we call it as in phase coherent detector and this one is quadrature phase coherent detector. Now phase discriminator, it consists of a multiplier as well as a low pass filter and it will produce a signal which is required to control, it, uh, it will be a DC signal which is required to control, it will act as a control signal for the VCO to maintain the phase to uh, maintain the synchronism it will the signal will act as the control signal now let us this uh, derive the or analyze the 
derivations through this block diagram first coming into the i channel let us see we know that the equation of dspsc wave that is the dspsc wave modulated equation s of t equal to ac cos 2 pi fct into m of t now let the output of the vco be c1 of t cos 2 pi fct plus pi that is the carrier this output of vco is applied as the carrier input of the upper product modulator hence the output of upper product modulator will be let me say it is v1 of t equal to s of t into c1 of t that is a product modulator one input is uh, cos 2 pi fct plus phi and other is dspsc signal that is s of t. s of t so s of t into c1 of t will be the output of product modulator by substituting the s of t and c1 of t in this equation we will get v1 of t equal to ac cos 2 pi fct into m of t into cos 2 pi fct plus phi after simplifying we will get v1 of t as or v in phase con adjacent as ac by cos a cos b so by using the trigonometric relation we can write that as cos a plus b by 2 minus uh, plus cos a minus b by 2 that is ac by 2 cos a minus b means 2 pi fct gets cancelled remaining only phi so cos phi m of t plus ac by 2 2 pi fct plus 2 pi fct that is 4 pi fct plus phi into m of t this will be the output obtained at the v1 of t that is the upper i through the i channel the signal is applied as an input of the upper low pass filter and the output of the low pass filter is vo1 let me say it as vo1 of t equal to ac by 2 cos phi m of t so after the after simplifying we will get v1 of t and then it is passed through the low pass filter of i channel so we will get v o 1 of t equal to ac by 2 cos phi m of t because this is the high it consists of cos 4 pi fct which is the high frequency component so it will not be allowed to pass through it it will block this component and only this component will be passed through the low pass filter so v o 1 of t will be ac by 2 cos phi m of t So in this we can see that Q channel in the Q channel the C2 of T will be with the uh, the signal from the VCO it is cos 2 pi FCT plus pi so it is provided with 90 degree phase shift so it will be equal to sine 2 pi FCT plus pi the signal is applied as the carrier input of the lower product modulator the output of the product modulator is that is we are talking about the lower product modulator so ro lower product modulator output v2 equal to s of t into c2 of t substituting s of t s of t is what we discussed in the previous slide uh, the same and by substituting that is ac cos 2 pi fct into m of t is s of t and c2 of t it is sine 2 pi fct so after simplifying we will get v2 of t equal to ac by 2 sin phi m of t that is cos a sin b cos a sin b equal to sin a plus b 1 by 2 into sin a plus b plus sin a minus b so that is 1 by 2 into that is ac by 2 sin a plus b means 2 plus 2 4 pi fct plus pi here 
and another is 2 pi f c t minus 2 pi f c t plus pi only phi is remaining so a c by 2 sin phi m of t now again we will be having a low pass filter at the lower side q channel so after passing through that low pass filter this will be this will not be passed through this because it is a high frequency component only this signal will be passed through the lower pass filter so we we 0 to vo2 of t equal to ac by 2 sin phi m of t the output of this low pass filter is 90 degree phase difference without so it consists of 90 degree phase shift output of this low pass filter when the carrier is synchronized that is phi will be equal to 0 so cos phi will be equal to cos 0 which is equal to 1 so v o 1 will be equal to 1 by 2 a c m of t and cos along with uh, a c m of t and if sin phi equal to sin 0 equal to 0 so v o 2 or the quadrature v o 2 the see here it is given CVO2 here it is given at this point it will be 0 when phi equal to 0 because sin 0 it is 0 so the, sig uh, the signal at this point it will be 0 the other when the error is 0 the output frequency of VCO is called free running frequency that is when the error signal becomes zero the output frequency of VCO is called as free running frequency output fre uh, error becomes zero when when only phi equal to zero Now the second case when phi not equal to 0 we know that we already derived v o 1 of t 1 by 2 a c m of t cos phi and v o 2 of t or v 2 of t 1 by 2 a c m of t sin phi. So phi not equal to 0 means it will remain as it is here 1 by 2 a c m of t and 1 by 2 a c m of t sin phi. Now then this input will be fed into the phase discriminator we already saw that vo1 and vo2 will be given as input to the phase discriminator and then to vco it acts like a feedback so in the phase discriminator it has a multiplier as well as a low pass filter then the output of the multiplier will be vo1 into vo2 that is 1 by 2 a c m of t cos phi into 1 by 2 a c m of t sin phi. So it becomes 1 by 4 a c square m square of t cos a sin b. 2 sin uh, cos a sin b equal to sin 2 a. So I can write this as sin 2 phi by 2. Now I can rewrite this equation as a. Uh, 1 by 8 a c square m square of t sin 2 phi and sin 2 phi I can approximate uh, 2 2 phi so I can rewrite it as 1 by 8 a c square m of t 2 phi. Now we know that m square of t equal to a m square cos square 2 pi f m t a m cos 2 pi f m t which is equal to m of t so m square of t means the square of that will appear so I can you uh, rewrite the previous equation by using the trigonometric relation cos square theta equal to 1 plus cos 2 theta by 2 then m square of t equal to a m square by 2 1 plus cos 4 pi f m t substituting this in the previous equation I can get 1 by 8 a c square a m square by 2 1 plus cos 4 pi f m t 2 phi into 2 phi <laughs> and expanding this 
I will get 1 by 8 AC square AM square by 2 into 2 phi plus 1 by 8 AC square AM square by 2 cos 2 pi FCT into 2 phi. So this 2 and this 2 gets cancelled. So remaining is 1 by 8 AC AM square by 2 cos 2 pi F 4 pi FMT 1 by 8 AC square AM square into phi and Again, it will be after multiplier, we will be having one low pass filter in the discriminator. So, therefore, we have to pass this signal through the low pass filter. So, after passing through the low pass filter, this will be rejected. It will be blocked. Only this signal will be passed through that. So, we will get AC square AM square by 8 phi which is a constant. So, we can say a DC control signal is produced and fed to the VCO which will control the error if any. So in this way it will overcome the synchronization ever error if any error is present. The phase discriminator produces a DC control signal. The signal is applied as an input of VCO to correct the phase error in the VCO. So the apply if uh, we have discussed that phi not equal to zero condition, phi not equal to zero condition appears when there is no synchronization. So we obtained a uh, DC control signal that will be given to the VCO to correct the phase error in the VCO output. Therefore, the carrier signal used for DSP modulation and locally generated signal are in phase. When phi is equal to constant, V of t is proportional to M of t. When phi, that is, we already discussed in the previous equation, that is, AC AM by 8 into phi v of t when the v of t is constant it is proportional to m of t equal to zero means amplitude of v of t is maximum like we will get the in phase uh, component and it will be the amplitude will be maximum that is cos zero is one when it is plus or minus pi by two amplitude of v of t is maximum minimum represents the quadrature null effect of the coherent detector. Thank you.